Welcome everybody to our first demo session in the Closed Molding Alliance Demo Zone at Comp 1. Uh, the first demo for today is going to be on vacuum infusion with epoxy. Uh, we have a number of our supplier representatives here uh, to talk about their products. And we, what we're going to do first is we're going to start shooting this part and during the uh, pro process of fill, each supplier is going to be talking about their products that are presented. So first of all, we'll start out with Andrew Hedger from MVP. How y'all doing today? Uh, so today we're actually going to be using our Micro Pro uh, injection unit here to fill this part. What we have is our innovator control box on here. So it has a, a couple of decent controls on here as we have our mold pressure guard. So when we're injecting, if we actually see any back pressure, it's going to sense that back pressure and slow down the pump, making sure we don't balloon the bag too much or overfill the part. As the resin's coming into the part right now, you can see that. The mold was prepped, in fact, using the Chemley semi-permanent uh, solvent-based release system, which consists of uh, initially the Chemlease Mold Cleaner EZ, and the next step after that is the Chemlease 15 EZ Sealer. It's a wipe-on, wipe-off application process. So the next three layers in this process are um, from the, our, our company, Ashlyn. I'm Charlie Fisher. Um, first, you have the gel coat that's down. It's a, a key component of the, how Scout sells their boats and, and um, it gives them the aesthetic look that they want. So that's their MRR, MaxGuard MRR um, Ultra Jet Black Gel Coat. If there's two or three things that we look at is vacuum integrity on the tool and being able to surface prep the vinyl ester for the epoxy for the adhesion. Okay? Also, the, lastly, uh, the infusion consumables we're using here is a new product for us. Uh, we call them the vector feed and the vector va vac line. Uh, what we've done here is we've taken the traditional anchor channel material and we've pre-wrapped it in a peel ply. So, it, again, taking out labor, reducing um, time to lay up. This material just goes straight on the part. Um, you can infuse your part and then afterwards it just peels right off, easy as can be. Similarly, on the vacuum side, we have the spiral wrap pre-wrapped with the peel ply and built-in brake zones to no more spray glue and peel ply on the shop floor, really trying to keep that labor down and really help speed up this entire process. Our SORC material is, uh, is stitched into this multi-layer fabric. Uh, it's also available by itself. Typically, this thin SORC material is, uh, is used on the, the sides of the uh, hull where you want really good cosmetics, good smooth surface finish. Uh, it does a great job of hiding any print from uh, heavy glass material or different core materials. This is an epoxy system with a resin hardener. The resin is L Araldite LY1568, and our hardener is Aradur 34055. The hardener that we're using is our intermediate or fast reactivity, with about a one hour pot life and uh, you can cure at 65 degrees Celsius for about four to six hours. Uh, with this particular application, an epoxy application, uh, something that we would often recommend would be an air release additive like BIC A530. Uh, BIC A530 is an air release additive for epoxies. It would typically be used at a level of something like 0.5% based on the total system, epoxy and hardener. It can be used or can be added uh, either by the manufacturer or by the end use user. And for an application like this, air release is important because any air voids left in your system are going to be points of weakness, points of structural weakness, as well as points where water is going to attack. Okay, if you look up the monitor, you see the 40, that's the 42 scout. I, I work extensively with those folks. And uh, all this process that we did with Vetroply and we did with Huntsman and we did with Ashland was uh, not born overnight. It, it, it took several months and, and a lot of testing to be able to do this. And we have found out, I don't know how many boats uh, Scout has infused at this point, but several. Like I said, again, we, we need to look at uh, one of the things that we did is, is the vacuum and to be able to uh, scratch the vinyl ester resin to get the adhesion with the epoxy. But uh, that's about it, Bob. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. So in keeping with the theme of what we have here, you know, we're hoping that you're going to leave today 
uh, with some of the basics for infusion. And, and the first thing that you have to remember is vacuum is king. Without vacuum, nothing happens. You have to make sure that you do a drop test on the part before you shoot and don't be satisfied with anything less than perfect in your world, okay? Because vacuum is what's gonna make this su a successful process step. Uh, obviously, resin viscosity as well as the types of laminates in there from a build perspective are, are important. So reach out to your, uh, your supplier representatives, Composites One, we're willing and able to come in and help you with the whole program should you decide to go down you know, the path of infusion. You'll find that it's, it's very beneficial. It gives you consistent laminate and an overall improved part quality.